unfamiliar face in unfamiliar surroundings. Former F1 star Mark Webber enjoying a ride through the streets of Alguero in the company of two WRC legends, double world champion Mickey Biasion and a head-turning Lancia Delta Integrale. The Aussie, a big fan of the WRC, but would he fancy taking to the stages? Would I fancy it? I think, you know, I've, I've been in, in, a, in a rally car. Um, I've been in, in Wales with Colin McRae a long time ago, um, which, was, which was clearly uh, a highlight and something just, I just couldn't believe what, what Colin could do with a car, clearly. Um, I've watched a lot of onboard uh, footage over the years. I'd like to drive a rally car, um, but I think you just know that you're so far behind the car, what the car's capable of. I mean, they're just taking everything on, you know, cutting here, they're doing their jumping, they're doing, you know, this is just so alien for, for us. So I think that, you know, for me to have the ability to get in, and yeah, I get the practices, you know, in, in play pretty quickly, but then when you want to really sort of stretch the car, you know, you'd be quite embarrassed, I think, of what, what you'd be able to, or not be able to do as the case may be. F1 stars have swapped codes in recent years, of course. Ferrari's Kimi Raikkonen spent a couple of seasons in the WRC during a break from Grand Prix, posting a best result of fifth in Turkey in 2010. And Poland's Robert Kubica was hugely impressive after his switch, winning the WRC2 support series in his first season. Yeah, I've managed to speak to both Kimi and Robert about their experiences in, in, in WRC, and I think that they both actually Clearly they both loved it, right? So the, the passion was clearly there. Robert would not shut up about it. He was so, you know, the notes and, and oh, you've got to see this stage and the row and this and that. So he was, you know, the, 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 the drive and determination was clearly there. He really did like how much the skill set for the driver to get, uh, you know, operating the car in, the, in such versatile conditions, that was something that he loved. We know that, you know, Robert probably dropped onto it a bit more naturally than, than, than Kimi did. I don't know if Kimi, probably more for him was, was maybe the notes. I don't know if it was something that often he would maybe get a little bit out of, not for want of a better word, out of sync with the notes, but just it was, it's hard, I think, to really deal with that uh, huge change uh, of, ha of having to be disciplined on the notes. And they were both, and they're both very different characters, clearly, but uh, yeah, total respect for them having a go. Watch the most spectacular moments from every rally. Get WRC Plus with all rally highlights now.